Brower. Gosh, we had gorgeous week of weather last week. Things might be changing this week, right? Yeah, well, yesterday, right? I mean, you yeah. walked outside and it was that cloudy start, yeah. and then Byron sent out an email to our entire newsroom yeah. saying, "Get ready for these storms." Yeah, right. And then all the storms broke apart. Well, today going to be similar, at least the start of our okay. day, and then those storms most likely happening into the afternoon and evening. We continue with those chances, but yeah, the first couple of days here going to be a little bit rocky. Then we get into the weekend, which we're counting down five days until next yeah. weekend. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and we're already seeing a beautiful weekend ahead. So let's get to it. We're already seeing some of those showers. This is really how we started yesterday as well. It was isolated showers across southern and western New Mexico. Today, this morning, we're really just seeing that wet weather across places like Alamogordo, for example, Las Cruces. Also, truth or consequences, a lot of these showers continuing to track north and west, and they're continuing to cross over the I-25 corridor. So if you're headed out this morning out on the road, you could expect a wet commute at least for the next few hours, again, down south on I-25. These showers will continue for the next few days. I just mentioned that with Todd and Marissa. As we continue through our Monday or Tuesday, the weather pattern's really staying similar, where we start out with a lot of that rain isolated in the south, and then they start to develop and track north into the afternoon and evening. That'll be the case tomorrow. It'll be the case on Wednesday. We see decreasing chances of those showers into Wednesday. By Thursday, though, take a look. We're completely dry. Those temperatures increasing. We're about average all week long, and but we're seeing closer to 80 degrees. By the time we hit Thursday and Friday, by the weekend, we continue to see that dry, sunny weather and warm temperatures close to 80 in a lot of different places. Today, though, we're going to call it mild. We're going to call it comfortable 70s across Carlsbad, Artesia, those showers possible into the afternoon and evening. Storms continuing through tonight. Showers and storms likely across the southwest. We have 72 in Socorro, 70 or TRC, 71 in Las Cruces. Going to be windy across the southwest for today, up to 20 miles per hour at times with those gusts. Less wind tomorrow, but the rain does continue for the next few days. Up in the Farmington Four Corners area, we're looking for 60s across Gallup and Grants, the I 40 corridor, a little bit cool. 70s, though, as you head up toward Farmington and Cortez. As we head toward the northeast, we're seeing showers and storms developing probably about midday in the northern mountains, earlier than a lot of other places. We have 50s up in Red River, 60s in Taos, and then 70s down toward Española. Cloudy conditions continue through tonight into tomorrow. Those showers popping up again tomorrow afternoon and into the evening. Las Vegas 66 for today. Moriarty at 68. 69 in Edgewood. We're continuing with the 70s over toward Santa Rosa. It's going to be a little bit more dry in this area because we're not seeing a lot of those storms developing in the east part of New Mexico, but we're still going to put the chance in there at least for tonight and then into tomorrow night as well. Decreasing chances into Wednesday. Across the valley floor, I'm seeing better chances of showers and storms today than what we saw yesterday. Same with tomorrow and then those decreasing chances into Wednesday. So just know over the next three days or so, it's going to be on and off scattered showers, temperatures in the 70s by Thursday. That's your day to look forward to if you're not a fan of the rain. We're seeing mostly sunny skies, dry conditions, and increasing temperatures. The weekend at this point just looking absolutely spectacular.